Okay, special guests today, uh, John and Rye. You've already met Rye. John is the head pro here at Deer Valley. And we're doing a 2v1 better ball against John. See if we can take on the pro here. Uh, yeah, so you got an 18 hole championship layout, uh, kind of cut through the Lumsden Valley here in the Capel Valley. Elevation changes, different than what you see in, in most of Saskatchewan golf courses. Feels like a mountain course in the prairies, so should be fun. And as always, you better be keeping the ball straight. Starting the round off here with hole number one, a very forgiving par five. Just to the left of that bunker is what they call the office. So that's where the aim point was. And then if you end up hitting a big cut back to the fairway, not the end of the world. John here starting us off. He ended up drawing it away from the office. So he's up on hole nine fairway, which is also not that penalizing. I piped one just to the left of the bunker there to the office, as did Ryan. So we're in good standing. All right. Good Not start. really uh, a go for it type green here. There's a lot of trouble around, and so when you're hitting out of the rough, Beauty. which is you know kind of where we're aiming, decided to lay up. We're all in a good spot here. John hit his to about pin high in a good spot left side of the green. Good shot on that upper tier. Right, cost an absolute dart here. So a great look at bird. Oh, a dart right. And I almost hit the camera, so sent that way long. A little too eager. John here for his birdie to start off the round. Stay up. Left that a little short. Birdie. And Rye would knock that Rye. in. We're one up in the match with a birdie Nicely from done, Rye to start. Man. Beautiful signature, par three second hole. John, tell us about it. Yeah, so uh, when the course first opened, it was ranked uh, fifth in the country for, uh, for new holes. Uh, from Score Magazine, uh, it's just beautiful. Kind of the, the valley winds in behind it. You got the you got the river running through it, and you got lots of trouble on both sides. So yeah. uh, you got to hit a shot. So Rye starting us off after that birdie, just overdrew this uh, shot a little bit. Hang sent on. that to the back of the green. John here sent this right at the flag. I thought it had a chance. Really good shot. Started rolling back a little bit. Oh, good look at bird. Nice shot. <laughs> I sent this just over the back of the pin onto that ridge there, so a slippery downhiller. Could not convert the birdie, so John here to win the hole. A couple pars. We're one up heading on to number three, which is a dog leg right, par four. Grip it and rip it over the trees. That's the, the line John took and it definitely paid off for him. I figured I'd follow suit, see if I could start it left, okay. cut it around, it and I was nervous. Hopefully I hit it hard enough. <laughs> I wasn't sure if it was gonna make it over. Thankfully we get up there, middle of the fairway. Hit this pitching wedge, just thin to kind of that lower right rough area. And John with a great shot, nice and safe, right to the middle of the green. So an up and down here to try and salvage the hole. And John with uh, a lengthy two putt using the ridge to his advantage, but just not quite enough speed there. So we've got a couple testers here and we both miss. So keeping the match spicy, we're one up, two bogeys there. So an unfortunate missed opportunity on both sides. Another beautiful par three. You're hitting over top of the creek to a smaller green. Rye with a beauty first shot there. John responding, sending this just past the flag yet again. He was feeling it with his mid irons today. And Rye, a decent chip there. So John with a chance to win the hole. Birdie. Nice. And it drops. We are all square after four holes. Back all square. Number five, bit of a lengthy, narrow par four, 410 yards. You got the river that kind of creeps in on the right side of the fairway and thick trees all down the left side. John with a perfect iron shot off this tee, right where you want to be. Rye opting for driver. He would glide that down the left side, kick right, so we're all good. And I topped my gapper and thought it was gone. Oh boy. Okay, so lucky bounce, we're on the car path, but uh, red stakes are to the right, so I can either hit it or take a one stroke penalty. And this baby coming out. Persimmon Forward Northern Golf Co. Who knows how old this sucker so is. So I was feeling good about hitting the persimmon and uh, 
yeah, it just didn't really do that well for me. So at least we're out. It could be a lot worse. And a five iron here from about 215 out was without a doubt my best shot of the day. Right at the flag. Had a good look to try and yes. save par on this difficult par four here. John with a lengthy leg putt up the hill for his birdie. And I just pulled that misread all of the above. And John would nestle the par putt oh, in. One up for John after a dandy par. Played the hole lots to perfection. Of, lots of drama in that hole. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Number six, 396, dog laid right, relatively open. And uh, yeah, so just kind of have some fun with this hole. You got to elevate a green to hit up too. So the closer you can get, the easier it's going to play. Right with a great three wood down the middle. John here following suit. Two good shots from Ryan John. John once again, a green and red. So playing some good golf. Ryan and I definitely have our work cut out for us. John drops another birdie putt. Two wow, down. Ryan and I kind of fell apart on that hole. Number seven, par four, 390 downhill. So plays shorter than it looks. And uh, yeah, beautiful golf hole. Bit of a dog leg right. So if you hit it where John does here, that's pretty much perfect. Left side of the fairway, right where you want to be so you have a good angle of attack. Don't do what I do where it's a terrible gapper shot and right side. So I'm kind of blocked out here. Thankfully, pulled out the six iron and hit this just to the left side of the green. So fairly good look there to, uh, you know, easy two putt par. John with another good shot, another green in regulation. And it comes down to putting here. And John here, left a tester for himself. I nestled mine in and didn't quite get the curl. And a terrible miss from John. So just a break Ryan and I needed after John had some serious momentum in the match. We'll take it. Ryan and I playing head games here. John's up to T and he kind of just yanks this one left. So out of bounds, John goes. Ryan and I both uh, hit decent drives down the middle. Actually, Ryan piped his. We both had birdie looks. Neither of us converted, but pars won the hole. And so the match is all square yet again. Moving on to hole nine, par five. We have got ourselves a match, ladies and gentlemen. Narrow par five, but very forgiving as long as you keep it down the left. Trouble right. John absolutely pumps his drive right down the middle. Tough act to follow for That's Ryan and I. Fairway and deep. I yank mine way left. We're going back down to hole one there, which uh, basically back in the office. So I'm familiar with that area. Ryan does the same thing. So we're going to be playing it as a three shot par five for sure. John brings out his hybrid here and unfortunately leaks this a little bit into the right. So he would find his ball, but troublesome area up there with some difficult shots. This was my third shot here. So a birdie putt coming up. And uh, it didn't drop, but a par was enough to win the hole with John running into some trouble after that hybrid shot. So we're one up, heading onto the back nine here. Number 10, par four, once again, fairly open. Rye with a perfect drive down the middle. John would of course respond. One draw, one fade, similar outcomes. John just obviously had the leg up on yardage. I would toss an absolute dart here. Call it uh, seven feet right of the flag, paying high. John just pushed this wedge to the right side of the green, but a good shot nonetheless. And Rye missed his birdie putt. So pars all around there. Leave us with uh, a one-up match, heading on to the beautiful par three, surrounded by trees. Very intimidating tee shot, 200 yards uphill. Thankfully, I stomped that seven iron. Tees were forward a little bit. And John here had a good, good. shot. Just yeah. kind of caught that false front and rolled back on him. Tried the bump and run. Nestled it up there. Birdie putt to win. Par right. was enough um, with John missing his putt. So two up for Ryan and I heading on to a narrow, crazy narrow par five, 533 yards. Anybody who goes for this in two is, in my opinion, crazy. One of the most narrow tee shots I've ever seen. So 
Hitting a five iron here just to avoid the narrow section. Very nice. And then another five iron again. We all actually played this hole to a tee. Pretty much identical. So five iron tee shot, five iron second shot, and there's our three balls on the fairway. And then wedges are coming out. Rye, Rye hit the best iron. wedge shot of the three of us. Dart! Woo! And Rye to convert the bird and win the hole. Oh. And it lips out. So we're still two up, heading on to number 13, par four. Beautiful. Second favorite hole on the entire course. It's reachable, risk reward. You got pop bunkers, a very cool ridged green, and a, a large enough carry to kind of justify going for it. John pulling out three wood, hit a great shot just down that left side. Rye with the driver, hit a good one down the middle, right on target, just not quite the distance. And I was hitting nothing well today, so the forearm was coming out because my long irons were working. Hit that great, and it held up. Didn't quite make the carry, so I was more or less out of it. Rye here with probably Check. his shot of the day. Rye, what a shot! Tap in, bird. And we're walking away three Just like that, up. we are, I believe we're three up. Three up, and I'm thinking about faking an injury. Oh boy. <laughs> Number 14, par four, 392 downhill. Trouble right, bunkers left. Once again, just keep that down the left side. Give yourself a good angle of attack. And kind of a three-tiered green here. Rye pushed his tee shot. That, my friends, is in the hazard. John also pushed his tee shot also in the hazard so we got two drop balls coming up rye here with a good shot i take that Very back a great shot he puts that to about five feet my chip here for birdie almost dropped not quite so we won the hole with a uh, a par there and we got a dog leg right looks super narrow more forgiving than you think because driver kind of opens up to the right side right where the the hole curves and it's a fairly easy carry over that water. I hit a cut drive, was hoping it would slice a little more than that, but it went pretty straight. And John, showing us the way, it's a perfect beautiful drive, shot. beautiful carry. I had a pitching wedge here, which would land short in the bunker. Yeah. I ran into some hazard trouble. Oh. And so John, with oh. a birdie putt, left that a little short but it's okay a par was enough to win well, it's it good. and uh, we are now still dormy but uh, John won the hole still alive you got you're still <laughs> alive you just got to win out for 16 17 18 yeah moving on to the par 3 16th another beautiful par 3 the par 3s on this course were just so good like all of them love playing here and uh, John hit a good shot but it kind of just pulled and went extra distance due to that and I nestled this one just to the green, so um, I would be putting and John would be bunkering with a must make, basically, up and down. Didn't really get any spin on that, so his, his ball's right there. No I'm putting spin, from eh? the back of the green. Left that short, so I got a tester. Two par putts, John. would miss his, so I must make to win the match. Ever. <laughs> I had a few doubts between the <laughs> oh. Yeah. And there is the match, ladies and gentlemen. But please keep watching. We've got some epic shots coming your way on these last two holes. We're gonna feature Rye on this 17th par five with the best par you will probably ever see on YouTube. It's a beautiful par five, yet again, such a stunning course with amazing scenery, the way the river moves. So he hits a push slice here. I'm like, there is no way you are finding that ball. It is gone in the boonies, chalk it up. He goes over to the last par three and it's on the tee box there. Pulls out, I think an eight iron here, launches this over the trees, middle of the fairway, third shot, stomps that onto the green, pin high and look at this he's got a two putt for par and he would make that so pretty amazing par there from rye and we're going to showcase this finishing 18th hole you got the lake the view of the clubhouse the landscape tough to beat i wanted to hit a massive slice here it did not slice at all 
And no. we just bomb that straight into that the so lake. so deep, dude. Drop zone. Need to hit a big old slinger Girl, here. Did just that with the four iron, top of the green. And the longest putt of the year award goes to... What a fun round. John was an absolute legend to play with. Cannot wait go to go back to Deer Valley. Well, there you have it. 18 holes at Deer Valley. John, thanks for having us out. Yeah, it was a treat having you boys. It was fun today. Yeah, I mean, as much as the the match was up and down, it was a good match, a lot of fun. Yeah, so lot, thanks for playing it. Lots of emotion. Lots of emotion, to <laughs> say the least. The course, if you're ever driving through Saskatchewan, Regina specifically, swing by Deer Valley, beautiful course. So much diversity. You got wildlife, rivers, lakes, the whole shebang. Yeah, scenery is fantastic out here and the course is a great trip. Yeah, and as, as much as it is prairie golf, it's mountain golf in the prairies. There are some serious undulations and uh, elevated tees, uphill lies. Yeah. Love to see it. Yeah, for sure. Okay, thanks John. Okay, awesome. We'll see you soon. Thanks boys. Thank you.